And what about the two young lovers? Well, yes, I mean, they're not eclipsed by the older generation. Uh, Pamela Tiffin made uh, three or four films around this time, uh, so she was uh, no novice, but uh, still a very good-looking girl. Uh, but I, I, as far as I know, she uh, her career then petered out. It, I mean, whether it was because she got married and uh, had children, or whether just there was a another younger generation coming up, I don't know. I mean, she seems to have the uh, the, the necessary. Uh, uh, intelligence to to put across uh, Wilder and Diamond's lines with with uh, all the uh, the force necessary, and as far as Horst Buchholz is concerned, uh, I mean he already was an established star because he'd uh, made a big impression in uh, uh, the Magnificent Seven, uh, and uh, was able to work uh, for some considerable time. Uh, between America and Germany, but it does seem that uh, whether it was a question of the offers that uh, he he chose to make his career in Germany, uh, and uh, although he went on working, he died comparatively young, possibly uh, around sixty, um, and and, and he, he he certainly was uh, playing character roles. Uh, in, in some quite uh, prestigious German films up to the time of his death, but uh, he, he rather faded from uh, Western uh, audiences. Uh, that may have been choice, uh, and as I say, he, uh, he, he did reappear uh, playing character roles uh, in films that got released in the West, but they were obviously uh, um, German dialogue.